Hi everyone, this is Myra, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a quiz using Google Forms. So I have one that I've already created here, and I just want to walk you through it very quickly. Um, as you can see, it's just a title with some text, and then if I scroll down, there's also a header here. If I scroll down, you'll see the questions in here with some options. And this one has a total of four questions. And you'll see um, that it's very simple. There's nothing like uh, groundbreaking on this. So let me show you how I made this. Okay, so I'm going to go into my Google Drive. I'm going to click on More. Oops. And we're going to click on Google Forms because we're going to use Google Forms to create the quiz. Now, the great thing is that you can use the Google API to track your responses similar to using XAPI. All right, so we start off with just a blank template. There's a few things you can do here. You can pick a couple themes and you can change the color palette. So I'm gonna go with a lighter color. You can, uh, it, there's add-ons that you can use and I'm just gonna click on this just so you can see. So there's dynamic fields, form not notifications and some apps that you can use. There's also a preview mode, and as you're building this, you might want to go into preview mode just to make sure that it's looking the way you want it to look. So we're going to give this a name. So let's begin, and we'll just click on Untitled Form here, which is the default name. It's Grant, and we're just going to call it Quiz. So now our quiz has a name. You can also add a description for your quiz. I'm just going to test a quiz a tutorial. And easy as that. So this is in quiz mode because I've created a quiz uh, previously was the last thing I created so it's taken the default. If you go in and it's not in quiz mode for you just click on the settings cog over here and click on quizzes and you can select to make it a quiz and you have some options here you can uh, decide how you want to assign point values, correct answers, miss questions. You can also go into general and collect email addresses. You can limit responses. Um, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. So let's just click save. Okay, so now what this is gonna do is because I'm in quiz mode already, I can just really start typing my questions. So the first question, is the sky blue? Because it's just a generic question. We can select what type of question we want this to be. Short answer paragraph. I'm going to leave it as a multiple choice. So we can upload an image if I had an image. We can also make the options images, um, which is pretty cool. So instead of having words, we can do that. But let's do this. Let's just add in our options here. OK, so um, once we do that, uh, we have this answer key down here. And the answer key, when we select it, it's going to allow us to select like, what the correct answer is, and we can provide some feedback. So for incorrect answers, we can say, sorry, the sky is really blue. And for correct answers, we can say, um, great job. Let's see. You're right. If I could type today. The sky, you're right, the sky is blue, and we can save it. So now what we can do is we can add another question. We can edit this question, and to add another question, you just click the plus sign here, and you go through the same kind of specs. So Okay, so once you have um, your questions uh, allotted, you can assign points to them. You don't have to wait to the very end. So I could say this one's worth 50 points because I have two questions and this one's worth 50 points. So you need to explore this because you can add videos, you can add images. Uh, but once you're ready, the other thing you have to do is click on responses and you can decide where you want your responses to go. You need to start accepting responses. If you're not accepting responses, then uh, your quiz won't work. I like to create a spreadsheet here. So then I can, all my answers will go to the spreadsheet and I can download it and really look at the answers and 
try to quantify it and it's pretty cool because you'll be able to see when they took the um the quiz what the score was you can add a uh a title field in here requesting like the person's name and email address and you can collect that information just as well so this is how to create a quick quiz so let's preview it before i finish and this is what it's going to look like to users so now if they click okay so it's green and then false once they submit they'll be able to see uh, their score by clicking on and view your score and they'll be able to see uh, the correct answer and the feedback so google forms is a little bit different but i hope you found this useful and if you have questions be sure to post it